In episode 85, we're going to talk about your tax refund. How's it going, everybody? This is Tim Maluli. Welcome to the Maluli Asset Show. This is episode number 85. Uh, Brendan, let's get right into the question. What are we going to be talking about today? What should I do with my tax refund? Great question. Very timely. Uh, as many of you know, uh, tax day was earlier this week. So hopefully all of you out there have filed your taxes for 2017. And if you haven't, you filed an extension for, uh, for later down the road when you can get your taxes in. Uh, a lot of you might be expecting a tax refund in the mail or you might have already gotten it. Um, so we're going to lay out four options for you for things that you could do with your tax refund because you know you can pretty much do whatever you want with it uh, but there are some more responsible choices uh, versus you know not as responsible choices so we're gonna lay out four different options for you to you know kinda get the uh, the ball rolling first option being a very responsible choice would be to pay down some debt uh, a lot of people coming out of college have student loan debt uh, building up that they need to pay off or um, you know, more people than they would like to admit have credit card debt. Um, so taking this lump sum that you get from the government in your tax refund could be a nice way to pay down a chunk of that as opposed to, you know, sending in the minimum monthly payments. It could speed up the process of getting rid of that debt, which is always, you know, a good thing. That's the goal. Um, second would be to build up or start your emergency fund. Um, we've talked at length in different videos and podcasts and blog posts here about the importance of having an emergency fund. So if you don't have one, um, definitely you know, taking this money that you get from the government would be a nice way to start your emergency fund, build a nice base um, of savings, you know, a good foundation to start that emergency fund with. And if you already had one, that's great. Uh, and it couldn't hurt to add a little bit more to it because you never know what's going to happen down the road. Always a good thing to uh, you know, have more money in the bank as opposed to less. Uh, third option for you would be to invest the money in an investment account uh, for the long term. You know, over decades, you know, over a long, long period of time, putting that money to work for you uh, with the opportunity to grow and you know, build and compound on itself uh, and eventually, you know, be worth much more than it is today uh, is always a good idea as well. So that's something to consider, investing the money for the long term. Uh, the fourth option that we're going to give you is the fun option. You know, as they say in Parks and Rec, you can treat yourself. Um, you know, for me personally, I would probably say put the money in some kind of like vacation fund or plan a trip or something. Uh, I find that you know, experiences and, uh, and trips and, you know, doing things are, are more valuable than the material possessions that you could buy. Uh, but that's just my own personal opinion. Uh, you treat yourself however you want to treat yourself. Um, but, you know, you don't have to do one or the other. If you have enough money in your tax refund to pay down some debt and also treat yourself, you know, get a little responsible and a little fun, uh, best of both worlds, something to consider as well. Um, but, you know, if you're getting enough money back in your tax refund to be able to do a number of these different things, you might want to consider taking a look at your withholdings uh, and maybe lowering it a little bit. You're not going to get as much back in your tax refund next year, but you're going to have more money coming in uh, on a month-to-month -month basis, more money in your paycheck each time, uh, as opposed to being withheld for taxes and getting it back uh, in a lump sum in a, as a tax refund. Just something to consider. You know, some people prefer to have a bigger tax refund and less money in their paycheck. Some people like it the other way. Totally up to you. Uh, but those are four options to consider with your tax refund that you should be getting in the mail, you know, in the, in the coming weeks if you haven't already gotten it yet. Uh, so keep that in mind whenever that check does come in the mail. Uh, great question. Timely question. Good stuff on, on episode 85. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.